What's going on, Mom Llamas? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Antonia's Legacy. What is up, Mom Llamas? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new. Okay, Theo just decided to stop jogging. Alright, um, I feel that. I do. But anyways, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anomaly, but you can call me Allie for short, and we finally are back with Antonia and probably more on a regular basis now as if you can't tell um I just got a new PC and my graphics look so so insanely better um and just beautiful and it's a lot more easier for me to play the game this way <laughs> so yes a ton has changed okay I know this is like kind of common with me I like tend to play this um save uh by myself okay off camera but i'm probably gonna do it a lot more on camera just because i don't know i just i like how my game looks and i i just i don't know i like it um but we are in a new house and i actually i actually built this house and i'm usually not good at house building but <laughs> i did a pretty good job in my opinion maybe a man theo cooking freaking what are these what are these, Theo? Are those shish kebabs? Stop. It is 6 a.m. Pinchos. Oh, okay. Sorry. I don't I don't know. Um, throw those away. Okay. <laughs> we are not cooking uh, pinchos for um, breakfast. So, uh, we are in a new house because um, last episode I posted about a month ago. And I had said that um, Antonia is getting really established in her writing career. She's actually... Um, because I've been playing off camera, let's turn this down a little bit. Um, she is actually now level 10 in the, uh, journalist career. So she is doing very, very well with that. But actually I kind of want to make her quit and have her just write books forever. Um, cause I just, I just don't want her to go to work anymore. She deserves, okay. She deserves, um, to not work, I guess. But Theo actually has a audition uh, for dignity and decorum today at nine o'clock so he's just getting ready for that but um they did have this house custom made because they're both kind of rich now <laughs> i mean antonia writes her own books and theo's a freaking actor like um of course she's rich which let's go ahead and clean the sink and she is work at 10 o'clock but um while they're kind of like getting ready for the morning and stuff um i guess i can kind of explain what has happened uh, let's go ahead and have him get some leftovers. Um, but, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, you would know that, um, Theo and Antonia actually got married, which I will put up some pictures right here. Uh, it was such a beautiful wedding. I loved it. Um, and actually, uh, Antonia, my baby G, she pregnant. I know what you're thinking. Okay, oh my god, this all moves so fast. Well, keep in mind, I've been playing the save off camera for like two or three sim years. So, uh, yeah, time, go time goes by fast um, in sims time. But, um, gosh, I just have so much to say. I don't even know how to start. I kind of want to wait until they both go to work um, to kind of talk about all of it. Because, like, I can't focus on, like, them and then, like, the camera and then, like, talking and stuff. So, um... I will pick up with you guys when they both go to work so I can kind of like talk about what's been happening. Okay, they're both at work. Um, Theo should be home in a little bit. But I guess... Um, where do I want to start? So where did we leave off after? Yeah, so they were living in um, Evergreen Harbor. And then they just decided to move to Strangerville because they just like the look of it. And they both love the heat. They both love being outdoors. So it was kind of like a perfect choice for them. Um... And Antonia actually didn't mean to fall pregnant. It just happened. And um, she really didn't know if she wanted it. Um, because with the mod that I have, I totally forgot the name of it. Um, Theo, he actually would be happy to have a child. So it says, this sim would love having a child, whether it's the right time or not. If a pregnancy happens, the sim will find joy in it. Rather... Then Theo, you know, being super excited to have a child. Um, Antonia is neutral to being pregnant. So this sim is not against a pregnancy. Um, they're not madly hoping for it either. They just feel neutral about the idea. Whatever happens, they will roll with it. So Antonia wasn't mad about it at all. And she wasn't like super ecstatic about it either. 
Um, but when she told Theo, like Theo was like, oh my gosh, yes, that's so exciting. Theo is so ready to be a dad. He was like, I'm ready. Let's go. Um, but Antonio kind of shared with him like, oh yeah, he passed his audition. Fun. Um, what can you do? I, I tried to, <laughs> I tried to have him jog, but that didn't work out. Um, you know what? Maybe while Antonia is at work, we can go to actually, oh, I thought I had our truck. Okay. I had like a truck here. Uh, like a modded truck that you could use. Um, but let's just go to the gem. Um, let's just go to the kettlebell, I guess, since it's right here in our home town. Okay, uh. we're here at the kettlebell, and Theo actually really likes to go to the gym. Um, something about it, man. I don't know. Let's have him... Uh, epic workout. I have not done that yet. Um... But like I was saying, Theo was very, very excited to have that child. Um, but when Antonia kind of told him um, that she didn't know if she wanted it or not, he was obviously, of course, he was so supportive. He was like, you know, I want this child, but you are you. You, you are your body and, you know, you need to do what you feel like is best for you and it took antonia a while actually she was like she didn't know she really didn't know if she wanted this kid especially because you know it wasn't planned that was not what she planned um her life to go toward like her life direction to go towards in like her early mid-20s um but in the end she was like you know what i got an amazing guy um, as my husband, I'm gonna do this. And there it was. Antonia is having this baby. And actually, I know the gender. <laughs> um, I do it on purpose because I just, I can't take like three days. Or actually, I have her pregnancy pause just because I think it's more realistic to have it last longer than three sim days. Um, but I just couldn't wait. And I actually know the gender, and we will be having a gender reveal party here in the next few days which is really exciting um her parents know all her friends know um but actually there are two people that do not know um she is pregnant and that is theo's parents so let's take a look at theo's uh family tree where is it it's right here okay so theo no not antonia oh my god i'm so stupid um so theo come on so theo does have a mom and dad he doesn't have any siblings um but his mom is june richmond his dad is eugene richmond now june and eugene are actually from mount kamarebi but they are now living um in newcrest but they are very very rich okay i i haven't like figured out how or why but i just know they are super super rich and theo never really resonated with that like uh, i don't know why like his parents tried tried to raise him in that like kind of rich lifestyle you know um nice cars nice clothes stuff like that but as soon as like theo left the home he just kind of abandoned all of that he didn't feel like um that was true to him and because of that uh they got in a lot of arguments uh theo and his parents um and they are not close at all even though like his parents pretend to care about theo like truly they really don't um but theo the second theo told his parents about antonia um they went off they were like this girl you know she's not established in her career okay this was back way back before she was level 10. they wanted him to marry like a doctor or something and antonia is not a doctor okay she can't tell like what the freaking fibula from the tibula is okay she don't she don't know you actually did invite his parents to their wedding but unfortunately they did not attend the wedding which really broke his heart and antonia's too because antonia is also affected by this she's like yo why don't my husband's parents like me just because i'm not a doctor or something like uh, it's just a really tricky situation um but literally everybody in uh theo and antonia's friend group and antonia's family knows that she's pregnant except um theo's parents because he's just really scared uh, he does not want to tell them like he does want to tell them but at the same time um he's worried not only for himself um but also really antonia and the baby because you know a baby he really wants the baby to have loving grandparents um and it's just it's just rough but who is he, who are you oh hey tag is here okay so if you guys remember tag is antonia where is he like you say you're gonna talk to him but he's not here um tag is antonia's ex-boyfriend 
who actually turned out to be gay. <laughs> and the whole time we were like, oh my gosh, why why is Tag being so mean to Antonia? Like, why is he just not showing her affection? That's because, um, let's get a soda. That's because he's gay. <laughs> and he just didn't want to accept it at the time. But now he's really gay and he's actually... Um, him and Antonia are friends now, so that's really cool. But yeah, that was that whole situation. So um, I'm not sure if Theo's going to tell uh, his parents about Antonia's pregnancy anytime soon. He he needs to eventually, but like he's just, he's scared. He's really scared. Um, but when is his uh, gig? It is at 12 p.m. Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Fun. I also did want to check um, for any holidays. So today is Pride. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to do anything for that. Maybe we can like go out and do something tonight. But like Antonia's in her second trimester and she's just always tired all the time. And like her back hurts so much and it's just really rough. Um, but we don't really have anything until Saturday, which is the big summer blowout. So we'll definitely do something for that. Did he really drink that soda that fast? Theo. He was thirsty. Jesus Christ. Also, <laughs> if you see like half naked people around, that's because um i disabled some of my packs and so a lot of people are just naked now that's just that's just the whole thing so um but theo's done here uh you know what today is pride and maybe we can do something um and tony is just a big homebody right now like she does not want to do anything at all um so maybe we could like go home and then Antonia likes to bake so we could bake something and maybe we could just have like a little get together at the house. I don't know. Cause like some of her friends are on the um, LGBTQ plus spectrum. So that'll be fun. So we're back home and Antonia's making some fruit cobbler or she was, did you not make it? Oh, she did, she already made it. Okay, so let's just, yeah, we'll keep that out here. So I'm gonna pause it real quick. Cause I kind of wanted to give you guys a house tour. So here's the front yard. Um, I did put a bike here and a little like swimming pool, um, a table just in case. I think Antonia kind of wants to do a yard sale one day, which will be really fun. Um, and then some planter boxes here, which she had plants in them, but they disappeared. I don't know what happened. Um, here on the side, we have a horseshoe thingamajig, um, a bonfire, and some swings for our future children, which uh, I'm so excited. Um, and then here's our front porch, which she actually bought. Antonia bought this at uh, the flea market, which I thought it was so cute, and Antonia loved it. Go ahead and go downstairs, and I'm not good at the, like, I'm not good at the tab thing where people like go fast and stuff i have absolutely no idea how to do that um so bear with me but when you walk in we kind of have like a uh, kind of like chill area there's no tv it's just kind of if you want to sit and read or like knit or whatever um here is the gay flag and then we have a little poof here some sparring um candles because antony loves candles um, Theo likes to play guitar a little bit, so I put one here too, and then the decorations box, and then a mini fridge, um, and some lights on the windows. And Tony's like really hippie-ish, like she loves hippie like themes and colors and stuff. Um, so here's the living room with the TV, and then Theo's cat Dakota has like this really huge cat tree. Um, and then this wall right here with pictures, which we are going to fill up, by the way, with kids and other memories and stuff. Um, but here's the fireplace in the seating area. Um, and then we have like a little dining space right here. Nothing too crazy. Um, and then in here, why is it glitching out? Stop. <laughs> this is the lower bathroom. Nothing too crazy. Just a shower, a sink, um, and the litter box. And, uh, I think the kitchen. Yes. Here's the kitchen. Nothing too crazy. This, this kind of looked like Strangerville and I was like, oh, perfect. Perfect. Um, but yeah, that's the kitchen. And then downstairs also is the master bedroom, um, which has carpet in it, which I've been really liking a lot recently, like carpet in bedrooms. I don't know why. Um, but they have a little TV and this is actually a seashell that Antonia got, um, at their honeymoon. They went to Solani, which was fun. Um, and then here is all of Antonia's snow globes, which she has been collecting. If you guys don't remember since, um, the very beginning. So, that is <laughs> the downstairs and upstairs isn't really much. It's just Antonia's computer and then another bathroom. Um, I could split this room up into um, two rooms if we need, if we really needed to. I don't know if we're going to go that far, but you know, we'll see. So 
Um, but Antonia is in her second trimester, and I know it looks like she has no belly at all, but I have a mod in my game that actually makes the belly smaller because I thought it was just so unrealistic. Like, second trimester bellies in The Sims 4 are freaking huge, okay? And I did not like that, so. Uh, okay, Dakota just gave birth to a kitten. What would you like to call her? Stop, Dakota. Are you serious? Okay, let's just randomize a name and then we're probably gonna sell the kitten. Dakota literally goes out all the time and just gets pregnant. <laughs> we end up selling the kitten. But oh, look how cute. We're gonna sell ya. I'm sorry, we just do not. We just do not have the funds for another cat. So we're gonna have to sell you. I'm sorry, but you'll have a good home, I promise. Uh, I'm sorry. Sell pet and then let's sell Shelby and that'll give us a little bit more money. Um, but the party should be starting in... Did it start? When does it start? Oh, six. Okay. Okay, I'm dumb. But, uh, yeah. So, Arthur's actually coming, which is interesting. House party is about to begin. Let's go ahead and start. I love this outfit you have going on, girl. But, um, it's not a party-esque outfit. Let's do her everyday wear, which is literally so cute. I love it. I love her little pants and her shirt. Uh, and she's like barely showing, which, you know, it's fine. But, oh my god, Arthur's sad. Why are you sad? Stop. When Antonia told Arthur that she was pregnant, he was pretty sad. And actually at the wedding, Arthur was literally contemplating like objecting to Antonia and Theo's marriage but like Arthur loves Antonia so much that she he didn't want to ruin her life like that you know so um but what are you making also if it looks like his face is cut off it's because I have a height slider on him because oh I needed it I needed it um but looks like everybody is here see look at tag he's like fully expressing himself now I literally love that um and then Reagan's here Mila and then Bella should be here somewhere, but here's Salim, our little freaking drug dealer. Can you stop cooking everything? Like, I hate that, please. <laughs> like, I, I don't know why Sims just want to cook everything ever. Um, but what did you, did you? French toast. French toast. Yeah, sorry if I'm like all over the place. This is the first time I've like recorded this house. Hey, son, do you want to come hang out with your mom for a little bit? Um... <laughs> Yo, you see, like, like his parents, they act like they care. But in all reality, what are you doing? Don't go to sleep. Oh, she's tired. I'm just going to raise it up a little bit. Um, also, I, like, cannot hear anything. Can I, like, turn the voices up a little bit? Thanks. Um, but you know what? He okay, here's Brayden. He's, a he's the new guy in the friend group. Um, but it looks like all the guys are talking out here right now. Um, let's thank Arthur for coming. I feel like Antonia really... Oh, that's so cute! I feel like... Oh, I love them together. They're just... Oh, it's so amazing. Um, I feel like Antonia really, really wants to keep her friendship with Arthur. Which, if you guys don't remember, um, Arthur kind of confessed his feelings to her a while ago. And she was just... She didn't like that. You know, she just wants his friendship. and um, He obviously does not feel the same way. And I feel like he really... He doesn't want to ruin Antonia's life by confessing his feelings. Um, but he just, he wants to. Like, he wants her to know, like, how much he loves. Like, he is in love with her, and he's been in love with her the day they met. So, there's that. Um, but she's like, hey, thanks for coming. He's like, yeah, no problem. She's like, you look sad. What's up? He's like, no reason, but we all know the reason, okay? Um... But oh my god, <laughs> Mark! Mark is freaking angry, bro. Why? Um, but okay, fun. What a pride day. <laughs> I think we should um go and light the bonfire. And we should have everybody kind of like go outside um and hang out by the fire. So let's form a group. Uh, we can't do everybody, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and go here together. And Antony's going to light the fire. She just looks so cute. I love her. She is so pretty. Oh, bitch. <laughs> she lighted herself on fire. I hate that. But let's add some fuel. And then let's just all kind of like hang out together by the fire. But Antonia and Theo both really love this. They both value friendship and 
um, spending quali quality time with their friends and you know it's just really important to them and I feel like these friends will be lifelong friends um, be just friends for a very very long time but every time Theo is around Antonia uh, Antonia what he just gets so enamored and look at their height difference okay Theo stand stand upright um, but I actually had, like, I had Theo uh, have a height slider. And look at their height difference. Like, I, EA, please take it from me. Please put a height slider in the game. Or at least in Sims 5. Okay, because look how freaking cute. They don't line up perfectly when they do, like, when they kiss and stuff. But it's worth it. Like, I literally do not care. But Theo actually met Brayden at uh, a bar one time while he was going out with um, Salim and Arthur. Um... And Brayden actually has a toddler um, son. So I think it's going to be really cool for him to like kind of have a friend who, you know, knows what parenthood is like and knows how to raise a kid and, you know, all that. I think that'll be really good. And Brayden seems really nice. He, nothing seems wrong with him. I mean, I don't think. But, you know, you never know. You never know this with this kind of stuff. But um, let's see. Bentley still exists. He's still here. He's still a cutie. Um, and if you guys don't remember, uh, Arthur actually gave, I want to turn this on because like the volume's down low so you can't hear it. Um, but Arthur actually gave Bentley to Antonia a long time ago for her birthday. Um, and she just kept him and nothing was really said. Um, so yeah, I love that. Can we like change the fire color? That'd be really cool. Let's do... Antonia, what are you feeling? Let's do a light blue. Um, but oh my gosh, she keeps wanting to go to bed. I feel so bad. I'm sorry, girl. But um, she does have back pain right here. Um, and then what is this? That really hurt. Oh, she got hurt. Okay, well, she's going to change into this outfit. I don't like it for this party, but it's whatever. I need to change it. Um, but see, she still walks. She still walks like a pregnant, like a really pregnant person, but she's not like super crazy pregnant, which that's whatever. But yeah, she is super stubborn. She really wants to go to bed. So I'm going to let her. I'm not going to force her to stay up. Um, but I'm pretty sure I covered all of the basics. Um, her adoption journey we will definitely be focusing on in the upcoming episodes because I really, really am interested in... Okay, Tag, just go through our fridge. Um, I am really interested in seeing who she will meet from her um, ancestry. I'm hoping it's her parents. I really, really hope. Um, Kennedy is still in the picture, but like we never talk to her because she... Um, she just doesn't like us. We don't remember. She was like obsessed with Arthur and... Uh, Arthur kind of dated Kennedy for a while to kind of get Antonia to be jealous, but Anto Antonia had a loving boyfriend, Theo, so she did not care, and uh, Arthur just kind of broke up with Kennedy, and that was that, and now Antonia just doesn't talk to Kennedy anymore, which kind of sucks, because that was kind of her only outlet to find who her parents were, um, or just any other biological relative in general, but she's gonna definitely be doing more with that soon. Um, how? I don't know. I will figure that out. Um, but oh, Bentley really likes to lay with her um, in the bedroom. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, nothing really much happened. Reagan, what are you doing, girl? I hate that. How about we go talk to Celine? Because we're kind of close with Celine, too. I feel like Theo was kind of worried about Antonia because she just kind of walked off. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's wake her up. Um because he is kind of worried about her just a little bit. Why is everybody cooking food? Okay, he made French toast, and I think <laughs> I think Tag made sugar cookies. Literally, like, oopsie. stop. But he's like, babe, are you okay? <laughs> you kind of walked off. Um, and I think he's just going to give her uh, a quick hug. Uh, embrace! Embrace! Where is that? <laughs> okay, embrace her. There you go. Um, but look at her little jammies, so freaking cute. Also, who who did that with the trash? I bet it was um, the cat. The cat does that all the time. But he's like, I hope you're okay. And she's like, yeah, my back just hurts. And uh, I'm just having a rough time with this pregnancy. And he's going to reaffirm his devotion. Like, you know, I'll always love you no matter how much back pain you have. <laughs> so cute. Um, but I'm going to end the episode here. Be on the lookout for more episodes in the future. If you like this video, don't forget to leave it a like. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to become a mama lama. I love y'all. Bye. Thank you.